Welcome back to the channel, my fellow traders and investors. It feels good to be back. It's been approximately two weeks since my last video. And as a lot of you guys know, I headed over to university. I'm currently studying business at the Smith School of Business at Queen's University, which is Canada's top business school. I've been really taking some time to try to figure out my schedule as to when I can upload these videos, but I'm back and we got some bangers on the way. So in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down Tesla stocks, full technical analysis, price target, and my personal strategy of how I plan to trade and profit off Tesla stock because last time I made the video I helped you guys catch a beautiful move on the stock and along with that there's a major 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 bullish thing going on with Tesla stock called the golden cross that we're going to be diving into as well so all I ask in return is that you subscribe so that this video can be pushed out to more Tesla traders that need a better understanding of how to trade the stock and if you want to learn technical analysis for yourself be sure to go get my new book a technical traders handbook on Amazon that was the number one hot release in public finance in the world so be sure to go get it and let's jump into the video. All right, so jumping to Tesla stock chart on the six month, four hour chart, we can see a few things right off the bat. So the last time I made a video on the stock, it was August 30th, right over here at this point. We were approaching this resistance that it had up here at 7.30 and I told you guys that this was gonna be the crucial level that it needed to break in order for that squeeze higher to the upside. Because as we can see scrolling back, this has been a really strong level of resistance in the past. So this is gonna be that key level to break. But not only that, you know, we're forming higher highs and higher lows and I told you guys clearly that on this break expect a push up here to 750 which is going to be this key level of resistance that it had way back over here along with the fact being that this higher high and higher low channel it would coincidentally be right at that top diagonal resistance line as well and so congrats to those of you who caught that break above 730 and were able to catch that nice little profit and move up to about 750 760 because that was one beautiful move now taking a look at what's happening recently now now we're beginning to somewhat pull back. You know, we were forming higher highs and higher lows kind of right over here as well, right? You can see if I place in some trend lines, we we're forming higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. We've now broken out of this channel pattern and we've now pulled back down to 7.30 again where we're beginning to find support. And you know what? This does make sense. Previous levels of resistance end up turning into support. And if we can turn this in previous level of resistance here at 7.30 into support, this is gonna be a really, really, really big thing. You have to understand, this has been a key level of resistance for a while now. So if we can manage to turn this into support and find a base over here, it makes it a lot more likely for us to see a much bigger move to the upside. All right, but those are just some of the small basic things that we talked about. But the big thing that I wanted to stress in this video is that Tesla has finally gone its first golden cross in years now the golden cross is an absolutely huge thing it's essentially when the 50 sma crosses above the 200 sma and this usually means long-term growth potential for years and years to come now the reason the golden cross is so important and the way i like to think about it is that first of all we have a short-term moving average and a longer term obviously the longer term signals a long-term potential for a higher upside especially when it's trend trending higher but when a short-term moving average crosses above a long term the way i I like to think about it is that they're both in basically in agreement of the trend they're both crossing above to the upside going up essentially showing that both are in agreement that the trend is in favor of the bulls and that there's further upside i mean the last time tesla stock had this we saw over a thousand percent gains now if i scroll all the way back all the way back here we can see right over here in 2019 when we had the yellow 50 sma cross above the 200 green sma right over here since then the stock is up approximately like I mentioned, 2,500%. So thousands of thousands of thousands of percent. And so that's why this golden cross is such a big deal because it usually means long-term growth potential. And that's why it's one of like the most holy technical indicators and trends for stocks. They don't happen They don't happen very often, but when they do, they usually result in long-term moves to the upside. And as you can see, we initially had it cross below. Now this was kind of bearish, but soon we started consolidating from our higher highs and higher lows. And now we can see how the yellow 50 SMA has yet again crossed out the green 200 SMA and right now we are actually above it we had our first cross and you know what it's not a decisive break yet. I mean, it's kind of just above it. It could easily also dip down if Tesla stock, let's say, continues to pull back or if the overall market dips. I mean, we do have our CPI data coming out tomorrow, which could be a major catalyst to potentially cause the markets to pull back. And in such a case, obviously, we could see this also pull back below the 200 M uh, SMA. And in that case, you know, we get a cross back lower. So now, does this golden cross necessarily mean that we're going to continue to see more thousand percent gains for years to come? The answer 
is a mix of a yes and a no. You see, the pull point of the golden cross is the fact that it signals a continuous uptrend. Now, an uptrend means maybe 10%, maybe 20%, or maybe even a thousand percent like Tesla stock saw in 2019. But that doesn't necessarily mean that we go, we're going to see it again. You have to understand that Tesla is trading at somewhat of a rich valuation. Now, I definitely believe it could be worth a lot more in the future, but in the short term, things are a little uncertain. I believe that we do continue to see, at least in the short term, next few to months to come, probably at least some continuous upside unless some major fundamental news changes. Like I mentioned, the Fed, that's one thing to be watching out for. The CPI data coming out this week could definitely throw off investors depending on how high inflation was. So these are just some key fundamental news pieces to be watching out for. But based on the technicals, if we're just straightly looking at the technicals, it is looking good. And it does look like the uptrend should continue for a while to come. But again, monitor those fundamentals, guys. Now, jumping into the hourly chart, you can see when we approach that 750, 760 level that I talked about, you know, we kind of got resistance and now we're dropping back down. We are beating to somewhat form, you know, lower lows and lower highs. I mean, kind of. It mostly looks like we're forming a descending, broadening wedge, which gets wider and wider before an ultimate breakout to the upside. And again, you can see very strong buying volume. Buying pressure has been really strong, really showing me that buyers are beginning to buy heavy and the institutions are also buying as well. As we know, obviously, Kathy Wood trimmed some of her position, but you know, that's nothing, not really a big deal because the whole reason for that trimming was because they needed to minimize their risk and it's normal across so many different funds. We are, the red MACD line looks like it's about to cross above the green signal line. We're forming a bullish divergence on the RSI as well, right? You can see that the stock was coming down low, but the RSI formed a higher low on this hourly chart, indicating returning bullish momentum. So right now, now that you've gotten a rough understanding of the technical, so let's talk about my price target and how I plan to trade it because we've been insanely accurate on this channel. Before we jump into my strategies, be sure to go get my new book, A Technical Trader's Handbook on Amazon that covers a ton of advanced trading strategies that have helped me help you guys catch over 100% gains simply because of the technicals. So one thing I'm going to be watching for right now is for us to continue staying above 730, right? That was a nice little move we caught up to 750 from right over here. But now what I want to see is again, continue holding the 730 level. If we can close above 730 today, that's when we really bullish. But then after that, what I'm going to need Tesla stock to do before I look to add more to my position is break above this level here at 740 now. Because 740, we can see, was this somewhat resistance level over here. And even right now today, you can see on this hourly candle how we're farming a gravestone doji right at that 740 level. You can see we pushed up, but we had this extremely top wick, suggesting that even though buyers try to push it up, sellers shorted heavily, there was profit taking, and that's why we're dipping back down. So this is somewhat of a bearish candle, showing very strong resistance at that 740 level. But if we can break above 740, I'll be looking to be a buyer into that. I'll be looking to take a small position. And again, guys, not financial advice. Make sure you do your own due diligence and your own analysis. Now, if we break above 740, might take a little position into that and then I could see a push back to 750, 760, where I might take look take a little profit on my short term position. But overall, then from that aspect, I can see Tesla stock probably continue all the way up to 770, which is a top diagonal resistance line of this higher high and higher low channel that we've been farming for a few months now. In fact, if I actually go back to you know the six month four hour chart. We can see that this 740 level and 770 level also happens to be a very strong level of resistance way back over here when we peaked up over here. But once we break past that level, I see no doubt that Tesla stock probably heads up to all time highs. This golden cross that we saw on the daily chart is extremely bullish, suggesting longer term gains. As long as we continue forming higher highs and higher lows and maintaining this trend, I expect the 50 moving average to stay above the 200 moving average. Now, if it does dip back below, then things might change. Like I mentioned, you have to watch the CPI data and some of the fundamental news coming out, right? But right now, overall, things are looking bullish. The stock outs has very high short interest, which also means that there's a lot more potential for bigger squeezes to continue. I mean, it's the, one of the most short stocks for years now. And so I honestly expect the uptrend to continue in the short term. But those are the key levels to watch. Now, let's say we fail to hold 730 because, guys, you got to be able to be trade the stock regardless whichever way it goes. That's why I can always profit both ways. If it goes down, I know where to buy. If it goes up, I know where to buy into and where to sell out. And so if we fail to hold the 730 level, and let's say we don't get that break above 740, 
then I could probably see the stock, you know, kind of pulling back to 7.30, maybe finding support. If we break below that, then there's a lot of potential that we probably pull back down here to about 700 to 690 of our, you know, higher high and higher low channel, this bottom diagonal support line, which would be at about, you know, 700, 690 at this level. I think, you know, we've been consistently holding this channel. So I think without a doubt, if you feel the whole 730, that's the next level to be watching out for lower, where then again, you could be looking to take an initial position. So with that being said, guys, that's the video. If you enjoyed this in-depth technical breakdown, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and go get my new book, A Technical Trader's Handbook on Amazon. If you wanna learn a ton of advanced technical trading strategies to become more profitable and elevate your trade to the next level. And hopefully I'll be able to upload more consistently in the coming weeks. So I'll see you guys in the next one.